Hello everyone, this is Drew Drew Drives at Grubbs Infinity in Grapevine, Texas. And today we're going for a drive in this 2004 Infinity G35 Coupe six-speed manual. The G35, this was a, this, the G35 was a very popular car back when it came out from the 2000 to 2010 in that era, Infinity was killing it with sales on these cars. This car was, you know, looked really good, had a great driving experience. You know, has a good interior compared to the Germans, so these were selling like crazy alongside the Acura TL. And this was, a, you know, Infinity's golden age for sure. There were, there were, this was dominating the market in the sedan and coupes. Pretty nice car. For 2004, it feels really nice in here. I can't believe this is an 04 car, especially the exterior styling. It does not look like that at all. You have the Infinity on the seat, which is cool. This one has 177,000 miles. It's a one owner, really unique one right here. The clutch is really, really heavy. I gotta say that, really heavy clutch. Throws are pretty, pretty cool. I also find it interesting. I have to push it down and go into reverse. It's kind of weird. Your seat controls are also a little weird. They're up here. This vehicle has a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 with 280 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque. The sedan had 260 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. You have some storage over there. Heated seats. And yeah, this car just definitely does not feel like a 2004. Gotta say that. When this car came out in 2004, I was three years old. So, pretty crazy. Brembo brakes on this. Gray exterior. Nice wheels. Looks really good. For 177,000 miles, this one's in great shape. Those taillights look so good. This is like this car just aged really, really well. Be sure to check out the link to Grubbs Family Dealerships in the description below if you'd like to shop for cool pre owned vehicles like this one. Judging by the, how old that Grubbs plate is over there, I bet this car was sold new at Grubbs Infinity a long time ago. Pretty cool. Hey, this yeah, this clutch is just really, really heavy. Got to say that. But yeah, the throws are really nice for being stock. Engine sounds so good. You have a sunroofing here, too. Very fun. Yeah, I'm just really impressed with this specific one because of how old it is and how good condition it is. The previous owner took great care. I mean, it's a one owner car. You don't find something like this very often. Gotta say that for sure. Yeah, this car definitely is very, 
It's a sophisticated sport coupe. This is my first time driving the manual version of this, of the G's. But I can see why this car was so popular back in the day. But yeah, like the throws are really fun. Clutch is really heavy, but it's not light, but it's still easy to use. But your foot will probably hurt if you, uh, you know, drive it in traffic. I definitely not want to drive this in bumper to bumper traffic, no chance. That sounds so good. And it's really notchy. It's really satisfying putting, uh, you know, shifting through the gears. Very cool. Handling is good, steering is very heavy. One thing I miss, one thing I like about these older cars from this era, Japanese cars like the TL, I used to have a TL Type S, the steering was so heavy. Most cars these days just have very vague and light steering, which sucks. But this car has really nice and heavy steering, which I really like. Yeah, it is really satisfying throwing this, rowing through the gears in this car, that's for sure. But anyways, that is about it. Thank you for watching another video of Droob Drives. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and check out the link to Grubbs Family Dealerships in the description below if you'd like to shop for cool vehicles like this one.